Hi there. Today we're going to be talking about 2.8 multiplicative comparisons. Our math message today is this. I want you to look at the ribbons and then read the statement given. So we've got a ribbon for Eve and we've got a ribbon for Maxine. The statement is this. Eve's ribbon is shorter than Maxine's ribbon. Measure the two ribbons in centimeters. Write two more statements describing the lengths, how the lengths compare. Okay, so I went ahead and measured the ribbons for you. So let's say that Eve's ribbon is eight centimeters and Maxine's ribbon is 16 centimeters. So we could write a statement that compares both of those ribbons by saying the length of Maxine's ribbon is two times the length of Eve's ribbon. We could write another statement that says Maxine's ribbon is twice as long as Eve's. Another statement would be Eve's ribbon is half the length of Maxine's because 8 is half of 16. So these are the kinds of statements that you are going to be learning how to write today with this lesson. So as you can tell, we used numbers in our comparisons. We used words like um, two times as many or is twice as much, um, things like that. So you need to write two statements in your math message section and that's all you need to write for this. So that brings us to our vocabulary. Comparison statement, that's what we were just doing with the math message. We are comparing something to something else and we're going to get even more specific with that because we're going to be using multiplicative comparison statements which basically means that we're going to write a comparison involving a relationship with multiplication specifically. And then of course in order to do that we need to understand the word quantity which is how much of something. So our lesson is this. You're going to be writing a multiplicative comparison for given word problems. And to get us started today, I've got an example. A DVD costs $15 and a book costs $5. So if I were going to write a comparison statement for this particular problem, I could say the DVD costs $3 times as much as the book. Okay, this would be one example of a comparison for this particular problem. I could also write three books equal the cost of one DVD. Okay, so there we have two comparison statements for that particular problem. Now we can use equations to show the relationships between two quantities. What equation can you write to describe the relationship between the DVD and the book? So think about a specific equation. I came up with 5 times 3 equals 15 or 15 equals 5 times 3. Now, specific parts of each equation are going to represent specific parts of the situation or the model in the word problem. So what does the 5 represent in these equations? The 5 represents the cost of the book. What does the 3 represent? 
The three represents the number of times more the DVD costs than the book. So what does the 15 represent? The 15 represents the cost of the DVD. So using multiplicative thinking behind our comparison, we can kind of figure out what's going on in this situation. So what is the mathematical relationship between the costs of the two items? So we're thinking mathematically this time. The cost of the DVD is three times that of the book. So when we think about our math message, what equation could we have written with the math message in the two lengths of the ribbon? We could have written something like 8 times 2 equals 16, or we could have written 16 equals 2 times 8, because remember one ribbon was 8 centimeters and the other was 16 centimeters. So let's take a look at this problem. Scarlett has seven crayons in her pencil box. Liam has four times as many crayons as Scarlett. How many crayons does Liam have? So if we're trying to figure out how many crayons Liam has, there's a couple of different ways that we could go about this. We could draw an array and of course put our seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and we're going to do that four times. And one more. Okay, so this would represent four groups of seven, which of course equals 28. I could also write that as a multiplication problem. 4 times 7 equals 28. So if I asked you now how many crayons does Liam have, you should be able to tell me Liam has 28 crayons because he has 4 times as many as Scarlett has. So let's take a look at this problem. Will has nine CDs. Jeremy has three times as many CDs as Will. How many CDs does Jeremy have? So if I wrote the equation three times nine equals 27, does this equation represent the situation in the number story that I just read? The answer is yes. How do you know? Well, the equation tells us that 3 times as many as 9 is 27, which correctly matches the situation in the number story. So what is the comparison being made in this number story? The number of CDs Jeremy has is being compared to the number of CDs Will has. How do you know that one quantity in this equation is a number of times as many as another quantity in this equation? Well, the problem tells us that the number of CDs Jeremy has is three times as many as nine. 27 is three times as many as nine. So we could use this particular equation. So what if I gave you this equation? 20 equals 5 times 4. Can you think of a problem that this could go with? A word problem. So I want you to think for a minute how this equation can represent a comparison. So I could say 20 is five times as much as what number? Would that work? Yes, and the answer would be four. 
I could say 20 is four times as much as what number? And you would say, hopefully five. So we can say that 20 is four times as much as five, or 20 is five times as much as four. So what comparison number story can you create to match this equation? I'll leave that up to you. So to summarize what we've done today, we learned that we can write multiplicative comparisons to represent a mathematical situation. And believe me, you'll get practice in class on doing this firsthand. Thanks for watching.